Coming up next, it is a heavyweight title fight between Francis Ngannou and Brandon Moran. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Absolute monster, what a title reign it has been, but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here, we'll see if we get a new champion, or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. Ngannou is seven years his senior. He weighed in at 250 pounds even. He will have a 13-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses, and two draws. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Brandon the Assassin Baby Moreno. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Francis, the Predator, and God! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? Are you ready? 
So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his weather trap to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground, avoid it at all costs. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Back and forth we go. Oh, straight right. He connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and all a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Predator gets absolutely melted by that head kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. And Ganu's got his hand looking for a guillotine chip. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flu choke. Open St. Crew would be proud. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Moreno's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. <laughs> Brilliant submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. He should be defending right now. Now he falls back into the finishing position. in the fight. Side control is pretty safe there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Oh, nice! Look at him. 
push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. He might get a finish here. Next round is underway here, and if you can't stay calm when a fighter is attempting a submission on you, you're gonna get finished. I mean, stay you're calm. Done. You're done, Josh. You're done. If you panic, you're gonna present your neck, you're gonna get an arm. You gotta really stay patient. See, that's my fighter named John No Panic and Oh my goodness. No, Did actually, you just make that up? It's actually the Anaconda. You should be a rapper. You really should rap if you put stuff together. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Pretty significant well to the left side. Moreno gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. The season coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Moreno going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Real quick leg kick. The Predator gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just over three minutes to go now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Boy, Ty Plum. Back and forth we go. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. And he continues to work the body here. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. When you're in a pinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, more often than not, when he has struck, he has landed. 86 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. And unofficially landed with 56% accuracy against Francis Ngannou. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Great punch landed with so much power. You gotta check. Low leg kicks. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Just a slip there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Whiffs on that offer. That right hand hurt him a little bit. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch from the clinch. Moreno's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. These guys are going at it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the last. That is as good as it gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of 
trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his corner hurt very badly again. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, big left hook there. He blocks the punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Just out of range with that uppercut. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And that strike blocked by the assassin, baby, Brandon Moreno. Hand landed. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, instead? Or something? Or something. Uh, uh, I got Moreno gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Francis Ngannou. And he continues to work the body here. Brandon Moreno with a nice one-two there. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight with a jab. How good is that right here? Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Stuff to take down, no take problem. Down, oh, oh, this might oh. just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Come on, guys, we'll see you. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round three. Moreno's going for a choke. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 35 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, So how about it?
there is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner. And this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion.